So that while the context of all these cases is very different, winning through focus as a concept is a powerful one, it's repeatable, and it's been successful. What was working and what was not working? What was working was that we had some phenomenal talent in craft. What was working is that we had some phenomenal brands built over generations. What was not working was that we were planting flags all over the world. The philosophy was growth through more. And my philosophy has been growth through less. Do a few things, but do them well. A lot of people assume that uh, because I originally come from India, that you know, immediately we'll have uh, an entry in India. Um, <laughs> in fact, there were some press articles I've been brought in to get into India, and I said, no, no. And the reason for that, it is very difficult in the Chinas and Indias of the world uh, that unless you have a sustainable business model, you can actually um, get in and lose a lot of money. Uh, because if you don't have a sustainable business model, and very often, uh, you know, starting from scratch just takes time. So I actually decided not to do anything in India, which is very controversial. But initially, India was not part of my top 10 markets. People said, oh, I mean, you know, a billion people, how can you do this? He said, no, if you don't have a, um, a reason to win, there's no point focusing there. Now, with the acquisition of Cadbury, I have a reason to be there. The concepts can be relatively simple. It's how you execute them will really make the difference. And I tell you, I, saw, I just saw phenomenal execution last night. I went to see Lady Gaga <laughs> at the United Center. I was a shocker. <laughs> but the way that whole program was executed was just brilliant. Um, uh, you know, the whole thing was just flawless. Uh, two other comments. Everyone there seemed younger than Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> um, and uh, the second one is, you know, I was clad uh, with, with a lot of woolens and overcoats and stuff, and most of the people were wearing very little. And I just felt very sad because I said, my gosh, they're all going to catch cold, and it was all freezing. But flawless execution, great fun, Lady Gaga, go for her. Now, critical to the success of international businesses and brands is getting this balance right of global and local. And indeed, the key question, and I'll take you through some of the lessons I've learned, is how do you get this balance right between mindlessly global and hopelessly local? The role of my staff here in Chicago is fundamentally changed in the last four years. We don't get involved in day-to-day -day operations. The Yao Ming ad you saw for China, Oreo, I mean, I wasn't even involved in the decision to hire the guy. He sent me a t-shirt later on, signed, which I was quite happy with. <laughs> but uh, it was a local decision. And that's, that's increasing. And people love that. People love being able to take those local decisions. When I came into the US uh, in Kraft Foods, people said, you know, we have a great brand in the US called Mac and Cheese. Why don't you just quickly take it out all over the world? It's been so successful here. When we made the choices, mac and cheese is not one of my top 10. It is not priority for me outside the US. Interesting. So you make those choices. You manage the others uh, uh, in a way which is uh, professional. But the focus is on 10. And most of the growth of the business is coming from 10 brands. The three things we're doing to actually nurture talent. One is compensation. So you, you, you do well, you get paid well. And it's linked directly to your results. And you can see the, the, the effect. And the, the differentiation that we've now started making in compensation is quite big. Um, so guys who perform versus guys who don't. But the second one is really what I call is hugs. Hugs is what you do when you celebrate successes and you build up people who have been successful. I can tell you compensation is great and it's very important. I mean, money is important, but you get these hugs, it is beautiful. Uh, and people like working for, for that sort of a company. And the third one is really development. We're encouraging people and investing in their development. Do we always get it right? No. We screw up big time sometimes. 
I mean, so, so you know, I don't want to give a feeling this is all great stuff and it's all working well. Sometimes the only thing is important is once you screw up, then you've got to learn very quickly uh, from the mistakes uh, you make. Um, but no, the whole, whole philosophy here is do things, learn as you do, and learn from your mistakes.